Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Altcoin Reviews. Today I am here with one more video on arbitraging and the topic of today's video is explaining the frequently asked questions FAQs and this is the part 3 of FAQs, Apex FAQs. As you all know that I have already made the two parts. I have started the Apex FAQ series as Apex is a hot topic now. So I am explaining the Apex basic FAQs. So in the first two parts, I was only able to cover one question because it was having a very long explanation. And uh, I have explained with the uh, Apex page, page open and I have explained it step by step so everyone can learn and understand that how to do the leverage trade and how to do the arbitrage trade. I have did all the things which is required to do and that why it take me two long parts to complete the number one questions because it has explained step by step how to do it all the things. So with this these steps I have also show it live that how to do it. That's why it take me two parts to do it. Okay. Now uh, it's just only questions. So now I will cover it quick quick to complete the video really quick. Okay. So the question number two is do I need to set up API or anything else on Apex before I can trade? It says no. Only thing you need in order to initiate any trade is ARP tokens and AUSD. During beta are both are virtual and free by hitting the fill tank button the function allow for a new refill every 24 hour from the last refill. After beta you will be able to purchase AUSD on the in internal exchange along with ARP token which are currently already traded there. So it is saying you don't need to set up any API this is the automated thing each and everything is completed here you just need two things one is ARP second is AUSD. ARP already available on the internal exchange if you have it then good if you don't have it you can buy from the internal exchange AUSD if you have a bot active a bot and you have investment in that you can convert AUSD from there to transfer it to apex and if you don't have any a bot or any AUSD then AUSD or AUSD pair will also be added to the internal exchange so you can buy AUSD from there with ethereum or arb any tokens you have okay so it is as simple as that now let's move to the question number three that apex offer leveraged and non-leveraged trading what is leverage trading so if you have remember then in the question number one i explain apex allow you leverage trading with 100 plus pairs from 1x no leverage 250x so in that i did not explain you that what leverage trading is i told you that i will explain in the later part of this video and i showed you that the question number three is already available that what is leverage trading so that's why i not explained it there otherwise it took me three to four parts to just complete the question number one that's why i leave this to uh, third question so i can explain everything here that what is leverage basically so now let's start leverage involves borrowing a certain amount of money needed to invest in something apex trading offers high leverage in the sense that an initial amount of required money called margin a trader can borrow more and control a large amount of money so basically leverage is a borrowing money to invest in some invest in something okay and apex here is a platform you can say apex here is a tool is offering the high leverage in sense of the initial amount of required money called margin or you can say margin trading okay a trader can borrow more and control a large amount of money okay in the example it will clearly more that example 5x leverage in this case you in this case you buy say 1 BTC C A U S D C is for contract okay so 1 BTC A U S D contract with 5x leverage you put up 1x and borrow 4x both your profit or loss is counted 5x during the trade 
So if your contract moves $1,000 against you with 1x leverage, means no leverage, you are showing a $1,000 loss. But with 5x leverage, you are showing a $5,000 loss. Same holds true for profit. Okay, so leverage is basically uh, can make your investment 5, 1x to 50x or take your investment from 1x to 50x. Okay, so it's basically you are borrowing a money to trade and if the market goes in favor of you, you can earn more than what you invested. So for $1,000, you can earn $5,000 and for $1,000, you can lose that amount also. Okay, so while it can be a very enticing to look at the potential trade side, keep very clearly in mind your risk exposure when trading with leverage should your trade go against you. Once you show good result trading with 1x and you want to trade with leverage, you might want to test 2x first to experience leverage trading and work your way up there rather than immediately trying to trying say 10x or 50x okay so basically there are there is from 1x 2x 5x 10x 20x 50x but but you can also select that you want to do 2x or more 3 4 5 6 any amount you can do until 50x okay so you can select your liquidation according to the risk you want to take okay so it's not like that that you are doing 1x now and you think now you can do 50x you have to improve one by one step by step to earn more profit from it also understand that if a leverage trade goes against you once it hits a certain price point your trade will be force liquidated by the platform automatically so keep in mind if the leverage trade goes against you the trade will be closed in loss at a specific point which it will mention us as, as you can see that i select 10x and 50x leverage it is showing me that the liquidation cost will be ten thousand five hundred and thirteen dollars and as you can see the price of bitcoin is ten thousand uh, it is not uh, like this it is ten thousand six hundred and twenty three dollars so if the bitcoin price goes down from this level my trade will be liquidated and my trade will be closed in loss so you have to keep that in mind it's not like crypto trading that your coins will remain with you and if the price goes down it's something different it's like a forex trading if you have done forex in forex if the market goes against us so for a specific price at a specific point where our margin goes down the level our trade will be closed in loss and our money will be gone so you have to keep that in mind when you place a trade prior to hitting confirm a pop-up will show you the exactly your leverage at what price point that force liquidation would take place and what loss that would generate that gives you a chance to proceed with the trade or cancel it and just adjust your trade condition. So I write 10,000 here, I click 50x, I place bid. It's showing me the price of entry is $10,619 and the liquidation cost is $10,513. So it's only giving me a $100 margin. Okay, let's say I select 20x, then place bid now it is giving me more margin now i have 200 dollar margin so that's the good thing to select a low leverage so it can survive for a little longer if the market goes against you that's the thing to keep in mind okay now i hope you have understand that what is leverage trading and how basically it works now let's move to the question number four what is apex gas when trading or arbitraging with apex you need two things okay now listen to this carefully when you are trading either leverage trading or arbitrage trading with apex you need two things one is arb tokens 
used for gas AUSD to place the actual trade value. So for trading you need AUSD and for fees which is gas you need ARP tokens. Each trade is charged a fees called gas and that fee is paid in the market value of ARP tokens. You will see a fees percentage in the pop-up drawer to confirming any trade. It's a fixed percentage depending on the level of leverage you are using. Example, $10,000 AUSD trade, 1x leverage, 0.20% fees which is $20 worth of ARP coin tokens. Okay, so if your ARP token market price at the time of trade confirmation showing to be 10 cents, you would have 200 tokens deducted as fees. $20, 10 cents equal to $2, okay, or 200 tokens. If token market price were $1, at the time you confirm trade, you would have 20 tokens deducted. $200 multiplied by 1 or $20 multiplied by 1 is equal to $20, okay. So that's how it is work. And you may acquire ARP tokens on the internal exchange using the exchange tab. If you want to buy ARP token, you can buy it from the internal exchange. While Apex is still in beta testing mode, you hit fill tank to refill your ARP virtual ARP used for gas in beta. This can be done every 24 hours from the last time you refill the tank. You see the virtual ARP count bot but bottom under the long short trade. So I have already shown you, here is the ARP tokens, here is the AUSD and there is no rocket science. The fees structure is explained in this, what is, the fees ex ex structure is explained that how the fees structure will work and how you can get the ARP token from the exchange. At this time it is in beta so you don't have to use your personal ARP tokens. It will be virtual ARP so once it will go live then you have to use your personal ARP tokens and personal AUSD. So this is what is apex gas so now let me end this video here i think it's enough it's 12 minutes long now i have covered till what is apex gas now there are one two three four five questions still and there is huge huge explanation that's why it is taking me a long time to cover each and every question because i have to explain in details and i'm showing you live also on the screen that how it all works so that's why it's taking me time to cover all videos, okay? So I hope you will understand and you will watch the video uh, so you can understand and it can clear each and every concept and each and every confusion in your mind. So I think that's enough for this part. We will meet in the next part with the next questions, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Have a very wonderful day. Bye-bye.